Hey yo, what is happening people? Welcome to episode 106 of The Michael Lab Show. If you guys are listening to this on Apple Podcasts, please go to the page, scroll all the way down to the bottom, leave this uh, leave this beautiful podcast a uh, five-star rating, leave it a review. Well, when you leave it a rating, hit five stars if you think it's worth five stars. Explain to me what you like about it. The, everything that everyone's saying is beautiful. They think I'm funny. I like to think I'm a little funny, but I'm not the funniest person. I'm not intentionally funny. I just I think I just say things sometimes that the I, the way I I have I have a lot of satire. I satirize. No, nope, no, nope, that's <laughs> that's not the word I'm looking for. I use a lot of satire in my podcast. I think that's what I'm the word. Clearly, I'm not the smartest person. Maybe that's why I'm funny because I'm not smart. Maybe that's it. Um, but good morning, America. Welcome to another radio show, Channel 11. The weather outside today in Annapolis is going to be 75 with a chance of rain. The local government has just cut taxes on public funding. And there was another shooting in Baltimore. Let me take it out to Stacy, who's going to give you the updates on the lucky lottery numbers. Good morning, Annapolis. Good morning, America. Dude, you guys, you guys remember growing up? And I mean, I'm young. I'm, I'm young. I'm 23 years old. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an adult. I'm a fully functioning adult here with my gin and tonic. I'm just kidding. I'm not an alcoholic. And boom, just break my mic. I'm not an alcoholic. And since it's only two o'clock, I think that's an acceptable time to drink, but it's only two o'clock. So I'm not drinking it. It's not gin and tonic. It is just tonic water with lime and ice. And it's beautiful. I love it. I've never had gin in my life. I don't think I've ever had gin. I've had other things, other alcoholic alcohol beverages. Um, but I've never had gin and tonic, but this is good, man. It's got a nice little kick to it. It's got a nice little kick to it, but good morning, America. Welcome to channel 11. Your local news anchor is bringing you the fastest breaking, most updated news around your local city. Dude, I remember just waking up on like a Saturday morning and you know, you would have a dream. You would, you know. You go to bed. I, you remember being in middle school and you would have assignments that you had to do and you completed them. And the weekend would come around. It would be 3 o'clock, 3.15 p.m. And you get out of class and you know you had Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it was a it was a holiday weekend. So you had Monday off too. You know, you had Monday off. So you were pumped. But time, this is like what's so crazy about time. Like, the idea of time, it it doesn't, I'm not a physicist, and if anyone's listening out there, please tell me I'm an idiot when I sound like an idiot, because I shouldn't speak upon this, but I will speak upon this, but time warps into itself, <laughs> time warps into itself, right, that's what that's what I'm hurt. That's that's what I'm told. That's what I read. I think I read that. I don't know. Maybe I've just heard that. Maybe I'm making this up. But time like warps into itself, right? I think that's what uh Albert Einstein discovered. Maybe I don't know. I'll I'll continue though. Let's just go back to the middle school kid, me myself in middle school. You would be so excited for the weekend, and time just felt like something that never would end. Right. And, that, and, and what time is time is just a measurement of the end of something. It's just it's a it's a um, time. I don't I don't know what time is, but it base it's a measurement for us to have a schedule. Right. So when you're in middle school, we use time. Much it's less needed as a 12 year old than it is as an adult. So since it's not needed, it's forgot about. You f literally forget about it, you know? So Friday at 3.15, you don't have to be at school until until Tuesday again. So in your little middle school head, 
that doesn't exist. The time, the, the, the days between 3.15 p.m. on Thursday to Tuesday at 8 a.m. seems like infinity. And you remember that feeling you would get. It would like start in your heart, shoot down to your stomach, and then shoot back up to your heart and into your brain. And dopamine would just be released. And you hear that bell go off, and it was time to go home. And you got to go home. And for me, you would walk on the school bus, you would get off your school bus stop with with everybody that lived right next to you, your next door neighbors, your other neighbors, your other neighbors across the street, and you would walk home. No one was home. No, Nobody was home, right? For me, I was the oldest one. Sister was in elementary school, so she would go home later. My dad didn't get home yet. My mom, she might have been home. She may not have been home. It was a flip of the coin, right? And as a 12-year-old, you don't care. You would get home, and you would, for me, I would sit right down on the couch I would turn on SpongeBob. No, 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 no. Hold up. This is what I do. I would go to the laundry room, which I don't know of how most families function. The way my family functions is we would take all the sweet goodies, not the salty goodies, but the sweet goodies. Like I'm talking the honey buns, the Hershey's, the the Reese's, the um the more more honey buns. I guess there were some chips in there too. And they would just stack it, right? We have like we have so you walk in the laundry room, you have the dryer. You walk in, dryer, washing machine. That's on the left side. On the right side, you have like a little opening space where there's like a little trash can. And in front of you in the corner there is a sink. And the sink is used for laundry, right? Uh, that's the idea of it, but we just stockpile shit in it. It's, it's basically used for dog treats. So you put dog treats in it, and right underneath of it, we have more dog treats, uh, laundry detergent. Any, uh, anyways, anyways, I digress. But you would get home from a long day of doing nothing at school, because let's face it, middle school, that's just the day where you learn about what you're like. You learn <laughs> what a boner is for the first time. Uh, you learn that you're. You learn your sexuality, I think. I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm straight. I don't know if, it, if you're a homosexual or if you're gay. If you are confused at that time, it takes a while for you to learn. Maybe. I mean, that makes sense. But in middle school, it's just hormones and zits and and, and girls and not, not even attract to the girls. You don't even know what you are towards them, but they're there, you know, and they like catch your eye, but you don't really know shit about them. Um, because you don't know shit about yourself. You don't know shit about anything. That's why the world's so beautiful and functions so well for you. But you get home. You flunked all your classes, but you don't care. You fly out of the laundry room. You pluck four honey buns. Not like the little ones. Oh, Tasty Cakes are there too. The little zebra cakes. So you get a bunch of zebra cakes. You get all the honey buns. You hoard it all up. You run to the couch. You realize, shit, I gotta get lemonade. So then you fly back around. And you get lemonade from the fridge, you pour it in, you kick your feet up, you take your socks off, you put on a looser shirt because when you're a fat ass like I was, you had a, a uh, white shirt underneath of your polyester shirt, you know, because you didn't want to get the sweat stains uh, on your red Maryland Terrapin shirt. You take off your khakis, your uh, car, your khaki shorts, you throw on just boxers, but like loose boxers, like boxers that... You would never fit in. Like only a 400 pound dude would fit in. You throw them on. You take your socks off. You take your shoes off. Fuck it. You sit down. You turn on Nickelodeon. Fairy Odd Parents is on. Um, Jimmy Neutron. The Boy Genius is on. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants is on. And you just demolish four honey buns. You follow it up with like three bags of Doritos. And you're drinking your lemonade. And you get a Coke because fuck Diet Coke when you're 12 years old. So good. I feel like I'm burning calories when I drink it because it has lime in it. So you're sitting there, you're watching your TV shows. An hour goes by, you hear the garage door open. Bop. Right when you hear it start opening, you go and you run. And you're running because you're taking all the trash that you've been eating. You've been eating all the honey buns, eating all the Doritos. You take the Cokes and you, because you're like, shit. Mom's home, dad's home. You don't want to see them eating all the food for a few reasons. Because there's shame when you're fat. There's shame. You don't want them to see you eating all the food. That's reason number one. Reason number two, you don't want to see them binging, is because, dude, it's Friday. And it's the weekend. And it's the weekend for your parents too, right? And they don't want to cook. 
You know, they don't want to cook. And mom likes, you know, mom's cool spending money, but dad doesn't want to spend, you know, as much money. So dad's, you know, he's okay with getting leftovers, but you don't, you don't want fucking leftovers, right? You're a 12 year old kid. You just want to eat. You just want to eat more and more and more. <laughs> this is funny because I don't, I didn't know what I was going to talk about in this podcast. I had no idea because I'm leaving for this weekend and I want to uh, get episodes in. So I'm not stressed out while I'm gone. <laughs> so I'm just I'm sitting here talking about honey buns because because that's what people like right people like story time story time welcome channel 11 local Annapolis news anyways you're, you're sitting there you're sitting there you hear the garage door open you run to the uh, trash can you pull out the trash can you run back you sit down you trip like four or five times by the time you get to the trash can by the time you get back from the trash can you sit down you pull up the couch and you get your glass of water right you get your glass of water you get your bottle of water and your parents come in or your mom comes in she's like hey what's up mike how's it going how's your day blah, blah. how's your day oh, good day's gonna go how was school oh, school was fine did you do your homework yeah i did my homework fuck it you never did your homework what you said though what you always said please if you're watching if you're listening to this or watching this right now please 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 let me know if i'm out of my mind here you always did your homework on the bus or if you didn't do it on the bus you did homework class ended early and teacher gave us time to do homework always a hundred percent of the time that's when you did homework for me that's when i did homework never did homework at any other time didn't do homework at school didn't do homework didn't do it at home <laughs> I, I'm literally tricking myself. No, but you didn't do it in the bus. You didn't do it after class. You didn't do it during lunch. You didn't do it with your teacher. You didn't do it before school. You didn't do it on the bus. You, you just didn't. You didn't do it. Fuck. Who, the, who did homework in middle school? The only time you did homework in middle school. Only time you did middle school. You did homework in middle school, elementary school, and high school. And I apologize if any of my teachers listen to this podcast, which I will say I have had a few of my teachers <laughs> hear my podcast which is a little strange it is a weird it's a it's a strange thing when you're doing podcast why is it strange well first of all it's strange because you're talking to a microphone looking into your camera for 40 minutes lights are blasting down in your brain and you can it's just it's strange as an event i think i think it's it's unique um but it's strange because you don't know who hears it. And then some people hear it, but they don't tell you they heard it. Um, some people watch it and they and they say, oh, I love your podcast. And you ask them, well, how many episodes have you listened to? They say, like, you know, like, I've listened to most of them. You're like, oh, shit, how long have you been listening to it? And I've just been, I don't even know. Because you forget, like, as I'm recording the podcast, I forget I'm talking to people. Which is wild. I'm talking to thousands, thousands of people have heard my podcast. Just drink to that. Once again, not alcohol. It's not alcohol. It's it's not. It's not. It's really not. It's it's not alcohol. This is just seltzer water. It's so good, man. It, like I feel like the bubbles fill up my belly. Day in the life of middle school. <laughs> That's the name of this podcast episode. Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Anyways, so boom. You're sitting there. Your mom's asking, what'd you do homework? Ah, I did my homework on the bus. I did my homework after class. I did my homework here, here, here. Never did your homework. Never did your homework. The only time you did homework in school was right before the homework was due. You would do as much as you can. And the teachers knew. The teachers knew that you just bullshitted your way through the homework. You know, the way that you did homework in, in school. In math class, it was... Hope for the best. In math class, it was never about getting it right. It was about showing work, which I think the teachers fucked up because the idea of you not showing work, they wanted you to show work because if you didn't show work, that means you possibly just took the answers and you cheated. So I understand I understand why they would do it that way. It makes sense. Please don't break. It makes sense why they would choose, you know, obviously, fuck, please don't break. There we go. So it makes sense why they would have you show your work because they didn't want you to just cheat and copy off of other people's uh, assignments, but what or homework or test or whatever it doesn't matter. But the issue why that the, the it backfired, right? It, it backfired, and the reason why it backfired is because you would just put down random formulas, right? You would just put down random shit. If the answer was like, if it was a weird like, like two x plus four y minus six eight or 68 equals 
uh, four four x plus six y minus twenty four solve for x, you would just put <laughs> you just put x equals four at the bottom. You leave a space here and you put the equation up here and you kind of just fill it in with chicken scratch. You know, make sure like your last two lines make sense. You know, and then and your teachers aren't dumb. Like, but as a middle school kid, you think your teachers don't know shit. You you think they don't know anything. So you turn it in and they give you a grade back and you do well on it, right? You do well on it. And I think the teachers didn't care because they knew that you wouldn't do well on the test. Um and also they don't I just don't think they cared enough. I mean, some of them did. I love the professors who did care, but you could tell most of them just didn't care. Um <clears throat> which is understandable. I mean, middle school kids are pieces of shit. We're fucking rugrats. <laughs> I mean, we suck. We just drool all day and we, we have braces and we're falling down steps and we're acting like we're fighting people. We're sleeping in class. Like, we're a disaster. We're a disaster of a human. The, the 11 to, what, 13, 14, 15? Yeah, the, the, the 11 to 14 year old brain is just broken. <laughs> Especially men, it's just broken. It's just non existent. Um, but yeah, so your mom would come home and you would tell them, did my homework already, blah, 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 blah. They would, my parents believed me, but they didn't, they didn't, they. When I entered this world, everybody who saw me in the hospital bed, they knew I was not going to be the student kind of kid. <laughs> Take what you want with that statement, but I was just never going to develop into a scholar. Just wasn't. I'll read a book here and there. I'll remember a fact here and there. I'll try to philosophize. <laughs> I'll try to develop my own philosophy on certain things. I'll try to break down a concept and try to put it in a certain way so I understand it better. I'll try to remember things to explain it to people, but I'm not a scholar. I'm never going to be a scholar. And I knew I wasn't going to be a scholar. And they knew I wasn't going to be a scholar. And everyone who saw me in that emergency room knew I wasn't going to be a scholar. <clears throat> Mom would say, have you eaten anything yet? No, I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm I haven't eaten anything yet because you would take the trash and you, would, you wouldn't throw it in the regular trash can. You would put it in the recycling bin and you just wouldn't put it in the recycling bin. You would put your trash into a Target plastic bag, tie that motherfucker up tight, tight. So if everyone, anyone did suspect anything, they wouldn't open it because it would be too much work. Boom, in the garage, flip open the lid, move some shit around, pop it in the middle, put some shit back on top, boom, 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 wash your hands, brush your teeth because Doritos smell like shit, and boom, no one knows you eat any damn thing. So now it's 5.30, mom's home, Jen's home, my sister's home, Rob's coming home, everyone's ready, it's 6.15, it's 6.30, mom, I'm hungry, mom and uh, dad and mom are like, well, where are we going to go to eat because it's Friday, once again, nobody wants to make food on Fridays. Let's go to uh, Applebee's because we were the Applebee family. <laughs> we were the Applebee family. So the Applebee's, Texas Roadhouse, uh, never Cheesecake Factory. Um, not that we didn't have money. It was just just never was a thing. My dad just didn't like it. We we went to Applebee's. And don't get me wrong. This is back eleven years ago. So like two thousand eight to two thousand ten, when like Applebee's, Ruby Tuesdays, um, Chili's. They're all like the same place. All the food was like the same thing. But at this time, it wasn't such shitty food that it is now. Like, I think the food was like the quality was decent. It was okay. Um, it was okay. Uh, but then, you know, so you would go out to eat and your parents didn't think you ate anything because, you know, my mom would always ask me if you ate anything. And if you did, if you said you didn't eat anything, she would make you a snack. So you probably had a snack after your snacks. And, um, because this is like just a fat kid story. This is just me. This is me just reminiscing on middle school. Um, so yeah, you would go to Applebee's, you would, <laughs> so we would all be sitting there. It would be, it would be, um, it'd be, let's say it's a round booth or let's say it's a, it's a table with a booth. So it's a booth, it's a booth, there's a booth on each side and, it would, we would all be walking up to the booth. We would put down the menus. And the way it would always work is Jen and I were at the age where we couldn't sit next to each other because we would just fight the whole time, right? We would just fight the entire time. Um, and Rob and Jen like to sit next to each other because my sister and my dad always would like mess around. Like they would do like the coloring book, the crossword thing. They would always be doing around, playing around and whatever. And we couldn't sit next to each other. 
So the way it worked, it would be my mom and I on one side. Um, I would be in the middle. I would be up against the wall. My mom would be sitting next to me. Rob would be sitting, or then Jen would get in on that side, and then Rob would be on the outside because Rob and he would we would he would be facing the door because he hates not he hates having his back to the door. I think just because he was in the police force for so long, uh, he likes to just see what's kind of going on. He's he's paranoid. He's paranoid. He's paranoid. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying he is. That's what he is. He's paranoid. Um, and it would be ten minutes into. Uh, we would be five minutes into dinner. I would. We would order our drinks. I would order like a Shirley Temple. Jen would order a Shirley Temple. Obviously, a Virgin. So there was no alcohol in it. And Becky would order like a glass of wine. No, I don't. I don't think she was drinking wine at this point. I don't think my parents really started drinking alcohol until. I don't know. I was like 18 and Jen was like 16, 17. They just never really drank around us. And I also think there was, there at a point in their life where they were still working and they weren't like retired from any job, any employment yet. So they were just kind of, you know, they just weren't drinking, but that's not part of the story. But then again, none of, none of this is needs to be heard by anybody because it doesn't matter, but it does matter because it's funny. I think it's funny. It may not be funny, but it's entertaining. And with everything, with everything going on, we just need some entertainment, right? We just need to be laughing sometimes. And you guys can laugh at the my stories, and it's worth it to me. That's that's what a podcast is. People ask me, "What are you talking about in your podcast?" I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I just rant. I just go. I just go. It's like turning on a um, alarm clock and just not being able to shut it off for at least thirty five minutes. So, um, we would all order, order our drinks and then we always wanted appetizer. Me, my, so Becky, my mom, Jen and I wanted appetizer. My dad hates some things he hates spending money on. Some things he doesn't care about spending money on. One thing he hates spending money on is food. He's not a fan of it. So mind you, we're already at Applebee's and he's he doesn't really want to be there too much because he could just eat, you know, hot dogs and french fries at the house. And that's fine. I, I understand. But it was about going out, right? That's, you know, it's about just going out. The older I get, the more I realize people do things just to get out of the house. And that was one. that's 100% what going out to eat is. Um, so Jen would go to the restroom and then Rob, she would come back and then Rob would go to the restroom. Sorry, someone was driving by. And that's when Becky, Jen, and I would order our appetizers and they would get there after my dad came back to the bathroom and we would eat the appetizers. And it was just, it was one of those things where it's better to apologize than ask for permission. We would just say, or we wouldn't even say anything. It, the appetizers would get there. You could see the disgust in his face while I'm like pigging out on some like uh, loaded potato skins and mozzarella sticks. And I don't even know... <laughs> I don't even know if it was about the money per se, because you know how like Applebee's has like three appetizers for three dollars, like super cheap shit, because the food's cheap as shit. But once again, at this time, it was like decent food. It was like decent food. We still wouldn't go to TGI Fridays though, because I had friends that worked there, and well, I don't know, just never went there. It was never around us. <clears throat> but uh, I think more than anything, it wasn't even about the price of the food. It was about like the disgust. Like, he had on his face while he was watching me just, like, pile drive boneless rings, boneless wings, and mozzarella sticks, and loaded potato skins just down my boca with extra ranch, just crushing the food, just getting fatter and fatter and fatter. And at this age, I just didn't give a fuck. I just didn't care at all, man. I was just pile driving food left and right, eating it. Didn't care, getting fat, getting greasy, getting round because that's all life was about. It's about eating. Food is a reward system, and I was rewarding myself for being fat. <laughs> so we were to eat our food, and then we ordered dinner, and then it was Friday night. We'll go home. We'll go to a movie afterwards. Go watch a movie, and we'll come home. And it's Friday night, and you're laying in bed, and you're just like, "Oh, this is so amazing! I don't have to be at school again for in like three days." And five minutes feels like an hour at that age. So three days feels like two years at that age, you know? So you're just sitting there full, full belly of uh, shitty pasta, shitty mozzarella sticks, shitty potato skins, shitty boneless wings, just sitting there farting in your bed 
And then, boom, you wake up the next day and it's Saturday. And what do you smell? <laughs> what do you smell? You smell bacon, dude. You smell bacon and eggs and toast and pancakes. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. And you go downstairs and you hear, at least in my family, you hear AF, AFV, American's Funniest, AFHV, American's Funniest Home Videos. And you just watch that shit till noon. You just watch that thing until noon. Just eating sausage and bacon and eggs and toast and pancakes and waffles and berries and syrup and yogurt and lemonade. And you're just crushing it. You're just crushing it. Dude, I'm tired. I just I almost fell asleep when I had my eyes closed right there. And you're just crushing it, dude. You're just and you're happy though. Just laughing. Then noontime comes around. You're like, well, what am I doing today? We all look around and, well, we're going to the mall. So we go to the mall. Shop around a little bit. We complain because we're spoiled brats. Then we go out to eat again. And then we do the same thing all over again. And then Saturday night comes around. You lay down and you've had a full day of just eating food. Maybe you go to a baseball field, throw a baseball around. Maybe throw a fishing rod into the water real quick. Complain to your dad about how we don't ever get to keep fish. So why do we fish anyways if we can't eat the fish? And we do the same thing. And boom, you wake up, you go to bed on Saturday night, and you're just, you know, you probably watch a movie on Saturday night, and you wake up Sunday, and normally you'd be sad, because it's Sunday, and you gotta be, go, you gotta go back to school on Monday, but you don't have to go back to school this time, so you're pumped, you're pumped, so you wake up Sunday, you, there's no food cooking, so you just get cereal, and I, I would eat, I was that kid who only ate cereal like once a week, and it was on Sunday, I never really, I just was never, never a cereal kind of person, Um, and then for my family, we would have, um, we would either have people over, we'd go to people's house, we'd go to my cousin's house, or we'd go to my grandparents' house, and we'd have family dinner. <clears throat> it, so we had a family dinner, we, like I said, we had my cousins over, my family, my grandparents over, and we would just all eat there and have a good time. It was always fun, right? It was always such a good time. It was great food. Just, it was so nice to have just a close knit relationship like that to your cousins, to your grandparents, to everybody. And it sucked because it was Sunday and you had to be back at school on Monday. But once again, you didn't have to be at school on Monday. You didn't have to go to school until Tuesday. You know? <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm pondering if I'm going to share the embarrassing part. Of my experience. I think I will. Yeah, well, I don't really care. I don't think I care. Michael, do I care? No, you don't care. Yeah, I don't I I, I think I'll share it. Anyway, so you sit there with your your you know, your your cousin and it was not this the reason why they closed on Monday, it's for like teacher appreciation day or like teacher cutbacks and Anne Arundel County and Queen Anne's County, which is where cousin and I lived, we were decide, uh, the state decided to just have all the counties take off. So everyone's off on Monday. So it's not just my county or his county. Because when that happened, we couldn't stay the night. So we beg our parents to stay the night and they say, okay. And we stay the night and it takes a while and we're scared. We ask our moms first because we know not to ask our dads to stay the night because it's just, it's not even that they would say no right away, but they just, it was I think the probability of them saying yes was higher for our moms than our dads. So we would ask our moms to stay the night. Normally it was at his house or their house, my cousin's house. Uh, so we, I would stay there. But I had a real issue. <laughs> Even in middle school, I had an issue peeing the bed. I would pee the bed. I was a bed peer. I think I've shared this before on the podcast. I don't know. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but I just did. I was a I would pee the bed, you know? So I didn't want, to, I was, I was on this medicine too for a pee in the bed, you know? And I, I wanted to stay, but I was so nervous. I would pee the bed. I didn't want, you know, you don't want to pee in someone's, <laughs> in someone's bed. So you would sit there. So we would sit there. My parents would leave and it'd be like, you know, 7 PM. We would get, we would go get late night snacks. I remember always going to my cousin's house and they always had the most snacks. They always had so much food they, and they're Italian. So they always had pasta and they had like 
like bread with butter on it and they had just good food that I didn't have in my house, even though I think it was the same amount of food, just different food. So we would, you know, stay up late at night. We would always try to pull an all nighter, right? In middle school, boys, girls probably did the same thing. You would always try to pull all nighter. And at this age, an all nighter was anything where you could see the sun coming up. You know, so you so it would be like five fifteen in the morning. And right when the sun started coming up, you fell asleep. But you would claim that you pulled an all-nighter when you would wake up at 9, 9 a.m. And it was the worst feeling in the world when you got up at like 9, 30, 10 a.m. and you went to bed at 6 a.m. It was the worst feeling. And you always regret it. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Why did I do that? But for me, it was really bad because I was because I, you didn't want to stop drinking water. because You didn't want to stop drinking liquids because you didn't want people to think that you still wet the bed. Even though I'm sure everybody in the family knew with my mom told my aunt and everything. So you, 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 at the age you didn't, you didn't understand, but you would assume that they knew. Right. And, um, I can't believe I'm sharing this. It's just, it's hilarious. Dude, there's lime all over my glass. Delicious, man. So good. You'd wake up. It'd be Monday morning. After I was freaking out about wetting the bed all night, <laughs> you'd be all the time. We would we wouldn't sleep on a bed. We'd sleep on the carpet. Um, I I think I might have peed on it a few times, and I like told my aunt or I told my mom, and somehow my aunt figured it out because I'm sure my mom like texted my aunt or whatever. Um, there was even times where I had I like called my mom late at night to come over and pick me up because I was so scared. And that wasn't at my cousin's house. That was more like at my friend's house because I was scared. You know, it was it it was a sucky thing, and I. I was born with like an underdeveloped um, bladder or something like that. And it, I had a lot of like GI issues being born. So it wasn't really, it wasn't my fault, you know, and I had like pee anxiety, like I had legit anxiety from it. And it just took me a longer time to develop my bladder than it took the average kid. Uh, but I didn't understand that at the, at the time. I just, I thought I was different. I couldn't do sleepovers with friends. I would only sleep over at cousins' houses. I wouldn't sleep over at friends' houses. I wouldn't even stay for a long period of time. Um, you know, because I was, I was nervous. I was scared. I, you know, I was, I was definitely different, you know, and I could tell I was different. Um, but you'd wake up on Monday and you have the whole day to do anything. We'd go out, we'd go on the rocks, you know, he lives on the water. So we'd go on the rocks. We'd look for mussels. We would get mussels. We would make pasta. We would get crabs because we live around the dock. We'd go swimming in the pool. Um, my parents come back and pick us up and we made pasta for everybody. And it was such a beautiful time. You know, it was such a beautiful time. And I was, I've just been thinking lately, like, I missed that. You know, I, it was, it started out as a joke and it is, it's funny, right? The whole, the whole story I shared, it's funny. It's, it's reminiscing of a time in your childhood, which people do. People reminisce of the times when life was just so much easier, which I like to do. It's, there's nothing wrong with doing it, but it is, it, you do, with you know, with the world in the state that it is in, and with people yelling about everything, canceling everything, yelling at you for not wearing a mask, yelling at you for wearing a mask. If you wear a mask, they think you're part of the fucking tribe that's trying to take away rights from everybody, and everyone's just hostile. Nobody wants to listen to anybody else. Nobody wants peace. People, people don't. You remember when people wanted peace? People don't want peace anymore. It's embarrassing. It's an it's an embarrassment. Nobody, I even know personal personal people in my life that they just don't want peace. They just want their side to be heard, you know. And rat and like I think rational people are falling into a trap now where they just want to be heard. They don't care about the other point of view. They just don't care. They're right. You're wrong. And I speak about that story because those times they're not unique they're not special they're special memories but there were just a time period where I, I i truly believe the world was just functioning at a different level i i am a big believer i don't know if i've heard anyone say it i, I i'm sure i'm influenced by it by somebody but i think when all this is said and done and I, i'm not a, a believer that Look, I'm not pro-Trump. I'm not anti-Trump. I'm just a human being who 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 likes some of his policies, 
and dislike some of his policies. But I'm also not a person who thinks that the world is going to end if he's if he's elected president again. I just don't. I don't because they were saying the same thing four years ago. Oh, we're gonna move out of the we're gonna move out of the United States if Donald Trump becomes president. You didn't fucking move. You're still here, just bitching and complaining. You know, you know what I mean? Like you didn't move. You won't move. You won't move because you don't care. You frankly don't care. You just you just like being excited and like being part of something. So when you hear something, you just get excited to yell about it. Fucking people just Anyways, I digress. Um this God, this podcast is taking a turn. I, I'm playing I'm twiddling my toes. I, every time I twiddle my toes with each other with each other, I know I'm like I'm getting into it. Good morning, Annapolis. Welcome to Channel 11 News. The weather's going to be high of 85 today. Um, but yeah, the world's not going to end December. This is not, it's not, and we're, we're going to get a vaccine. And the government's not putting devices up our nostrils. They're just not doing that. Um, I don't understand why they would do that. They, they, they could just, they have Apple. Apple works with the government. I'm sure they could just track information that way. Like, I, I, people are so bored. People just, there's so much time on people's hands. It, it's going to be okay. Things are going to be fine. You know, if you have a job right now, be grateful that you have a job. Um, be grateful. Just be, just, everyone just needs to be grateful to each other. Yeah, that's what, at the end of the day, that's what we need. We need people to be grateful to each other. We need people to be happy with what they have in life. And they need to stop just attacking, attacking, and yelling at people and saying things without actually having evidence of it. You know, it's it's sad. It really is sad. It It, it sucks. It sucks that we're going through such a hard time. And it's a time that, frankly, I think needed to happen. I think systematic racism is a real issue. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not. But I'm, what I am saying is kindness is always the answer. It's always the answer. Understanding is how you get that answer. Communication is how you learn to understand. Kindness is the answer. Listening is how you get to that. Communication is needed to, to, to listen. Social media is going to be the biggest mistake humans ever make. I truly believe in that. I use it. I'm a hypocrite. I know. I get it. I understand. I totally get it. But when people weapon, they're using social media not to try to come to a compromise not to try to listen to people, not to put out other ideas, but to attack and belittle other humans. It's disgusting. I see it every day. And I see worse on Facebook. Facebook is just a shithole. It is just a shithole. It's designed to piss you off because when you get pissed off, you stay on it longer. More ads are in front of your eyes. And it's so funny that people who are on Facebook are saying some crazy shit, um, just crazy shit, are using a platform owned by Mark Zuckerberg. One of the possibly, one, if not, if, if you, these people believe in what they believe in, he's exactly what they don't want to have power. It's hilarious that the platforms that people are using are owned by some of the most powerful people in the world. It's mind blowing. And I, I don't blame them. I just it's just crazy. And it's it's ignorance. It's lack of knowledge. It's insecurity. It really is. It's 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 a level of insecurity that you're seeing right now. There's never been a time in human human I mean maybe there has been, but I can't remember a time in human history where you weren't allowed to be in the middle on anything. I use this example all the time, but abortion. You cannot be in the middle of it. If I say I believe a woman should be able to abort their child because of their body, that makes me far left. That makes me straight up Democrat. As far left possible, I think. I think. I'm not good with this stuff, but I think. But if I say... I think it's wrong to abort your kid after the third trimester. 
then I'm no longer liberal. You know, like there's no middle ground on anything. And it's hilarious because that is the only way you get to peace. But I don't think people want peace anymore. I think right now we're just dealing with a bunch of the fucking dumb idiot bullies on the playground just yelling at each other back and forth all day. Meanwhile, the smart people are going to rise to the top again and then use these people as puppets. <laughs> you know, that's just that's the reality of it. But also, I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just love living. And I miss times where people weren't so ferocious on everything. I feel like people are just looking to fight all the time now. I'm not a fighter. I don't like arguing with people. I won't argue with people. I will not argue with people. I have people that come up to me all the time. Very Not all the time, but enough just looking for an argument. I won't, I'll mess around with my family. I like just picking their brains. Like if you ask my family members, they think I'm, I'm, I like arguing, but maybe I do with them. But when it comes to people like outside of my family, I don't like it. This is exhausting. And you're not going to change their minds. Even if you are rational, even if you are pro human, even if you are human, you love humans. It doesn't matter. They don't want to listen to you. They just want to make you feel like shit. They just want to smear you. They just want to win. They just want to fucking Donald Trump you and win. I don't know. I don't know if he's a piece of shit. I don't know. I don't know if he's a piece of shit. I don't know if he is part of the, if he is trying to stop the dark web or what is it called? The, the, um, what it, what the conspiracy theorists say? The, the, they say like there's a group of people out there. Like I, sex trafficking is a hundred percent. It happens all the time. I'm completely aware of that. And maybe they do eat people, but I just, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. And it's just weird. And it's frankly, I don't know. And I shouldn't be talking about it, but, but I do, what I do know is that was my middle school story story. And it was fun, dude. It was fun being a middle school kid. And if you're a middle school kid right now, and I'm sorry, I feel t- the people I feel the worst for are the people, the kids who are between, you know, the kids, just kids right now, between six to 15 years old. You know, when you just don't understand the world, but you got to wear a mask and hang out with your friends. If you can even hang out with your friends and you can't go to school anymore, you can't talk to people. Like You can't talk to people. You can't talk to kids your age. And on top of that, you're already on your iPad. It's just going to be such a weird generation that comes from this. Not, I'm not saying they're going to be worse than our, us or anything, because I hate when older generations say that this generation is a piece of shit. Millennials are lazy. Fuck you. I hate, I hate when people say that shit. It's stupid ignorant it's dumb it's not true either fucking old people (laughs) saying stupid shit um but yeah i do feel for that i do because i'm not that much of a social person i enjoy socializing but i struggle going out of my way to become in a social um, conversation but i feel bad for people who who kids who don't get to experience that because of the lockdown you know it sucks and it sucks, it sucks really because I think it could have been slowed down, but so many people are just ignorant and don't wear a mask. I hate, I hate that. I cannot stand that. Just put on a mask, bro. Put on a mask, man. Is it really that difficult? Is it that hard to put a mask on? No, it's not. Put a mask on so kids can go back to school. Put a mask on so we can get back to normal. The quicker we listen to that, the quicker we go back to school, the quicker we go out to work, the quicker we have cookouts and hang out with people. And if I'm sure most people believe that coronavirus isn't even real, well, if that's the truth, then we do, we can't have a conversation. We just can't because it is real. And if it was made in a lab, then we have to accept that it was, and it sucks. And people are that evil. But if it was made in a lab, it was made in a lab. We just kind of got to deal with it. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in episode 107. I've been talking way too much on this podcast. I've been going on for like 45 minutes now. I love every single one of you. I, I appreciate the support every day. I, I love doing the podcast. I love people. I love people. I'm pro people. I love people. I think people are great. I think people are born to do great things. And I think, yeah, 
I think too much. I'll catch you guys in episode 107. Shout out to middle school kids out there. Everybody out there, I love everybody. Be good, be safe. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on Thursday. See you.